Hello, this is um, a C-sharp tutorial. It's a beginner tutorial. And if you don't know what C-sharp is, it is a programming language. And if you're looking to get into programming, C-sharp, I think, personally, is the best choice. Because even although Visual Basic may be easier to learn, Visual, visual C-sharp is, um, is much more, it's much more helpful to you. Because there are other programming languages like such as C and C++ that are sort of similar to C Sharp, and Call of Duty, um, like Black Ops and those games, are coded in C++. So, and, oh, and a lot of people also like offer support for like modding tools and stuff, um, in C Sharp. Just I guess it's just like the most popular. So. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very basic program in C Sharp. So let's get started. In the down in the description I'll leave a download link for C Sharp and if you if if you have any troubles installing it just leave a comment and I'll try to help. Once you have it installed, open it up and click create project. And make sure you have Windows Forms application um selected. And we're just going to call this um application Hello World. Right, and click OK. Okay, now once, a f once this is loaded, you will see a preview of your form. First, you're going to want to go over to the toolbox and drag a button onto the form. You can move the button around, resize the button, or even mess around with the properties, such as the text. You can move the form around. You can move the size of the form or in any of this. There are other um, properties such as if it's visible or not, um, the four color, like the text. You can change it to anything. But I'm just gonna leave it as black. And I encourage you to like mess around with the um, the properties and get familiar with them and the toolbox so that when you get into um, more complicated applications you'll know like if you need like a button or something where to get it okay so once you have the button on your form just double click the button with your mouse and it will generate code for you now put your cursor where um, it default ha had you unless if you moved it which is right in um, in between these two brackets right here and you want to type message box or you can just use your keys to go up and down and select message box out of um, this preview box which is called IntelliSense and then you can just click enter to select that and then put a dot and click and um, go down to show put a parenthesis a quote and then whatever message you would like it to say I'll just say hello well I guess I'll say YouTube because this is a tutorial well let's make it look proper and then you can finish it off with another quote and a parenthesis. And at the end of every line of your code, you will need to have a semicolon. And then just debug, which is this green triangle up here. And basically what debugging does is it builds your application so you can view it. So now here's your appli the application we created. If you click the button, you get a message box that says, Hello YouTube. Now, there are a few more ways you can customize your message box, such as if you put a comma after the, this quotation, and then put two more quotes inside the co quotes, you can put another, like the, the, um, the heading, which is like, see how it says like C sharp up here? It, that, that'll be like the title of your text or, or of your message box. So if we put just message. Now uh, we debug. The title of the message box says message. So that is that is it for the first C sharp tutorial. Um, there will be many more to come, as I enjoy making these. Um, uh, I encourage you to mess around um, with um, this, such as like changing I don't know, like the colors or dragging on other things such as checkboxes. Um, but we'll get into these um, 
I don't know, tools, I guess. Um, uh, and more C, and later C sharp tutorials.